All right, let's just jump right in because what Google just dropped is, well, it's way more than just another product launch. We're talking about a massive wave of AI updates. And the crazy part is how they're all connected. This stuff is literally set to change how we do everything, how we work, how we create, how we just live with tech every single day. And yeah, that quote right there, Google just broke the internet. I mean, that pretty much nails it, right? This isn't some slow trickle. It is a full-on tidal wave of AI innovation crashing down all at once. And trust me, we are all about to feel the effects. So here's the most important thing to get your head around. You gotta stop thinking of these as a bunch of separate new tools. That's not what this is. What Google has really rolled out is a whole interconnected ecosystem. It's like they're weaving a new layer of intelligence into the very fabric of everything we do online. So first up, let's get into the new AI toolkit. We're talking about the tools that are designed to, you know, supercharge how we work and create and really start pushing the boundaries of what we even thought was possible. Okay, so this whole toolkit basically breaks down into four big areas. First, we've got superhuman problem solving, then AI powered creation. After that, seamless browser integration, which is a huge deal. And finally, get this, autonomous financial tasks. Yeah, AI that can actually handle your money. Okay, let's kick things off with something that is just truly mind-blowing. This is Gemini 2.5 DeepThink. It recently competed in what's called the ICPC World Finals. And you can basically think of that as the Olympics for computer programming, the best of the best. And what this AI did there, it was just astonishing. And here's the punchline. Just look at this. You have 139 of the smartest university teams from all over the world, all staring at the same problem, and not a single one of them could solve it. Not one. DeepThink, it cracked the code in under 30 minutes. This isn't just about being a faster coder. We are talking about a completely different, a fundamentally new level of problem-solving intelligence. Okay, so from superhuman thinking, we move to creation, and this is a big one. It's called V3 Fast, and it's coming to YouTube Shorts. Get ready for this. You'll be able to generate entire video clips, and I'm talking complete with sound effects and even speech from just a single sentence you type. This is huge because it's really the first time we're seeing AI video generation with high quality, perfectly synced audio. It completely changes the game for creating stuff. And this slide just lays it out perfectly, right? Look at the before on the left. Hiring a team, filming, editing software, finding music. It's a whole ordeal that takes days and costs a ton of money. Now look at the after. You type one sentence. That's it. The entire barrier to making professional looking videos has just been, well, it's been completely demolished. So now let's see how all these pieces click together into one big integrated system. This is where it gets really powerful. First, Gemini is now baked right into Chrome for all US users. It can analyze web pages, work across all your open tabs. It's a game changer. Then you've got these shareable gems. You can literally create your own custom AI assistants and then share them with your team, just like you would a Google Doc. And the final piece of the puzzle? the Agent Payments Protocol, or AP2. This means AI agents can now actually complete purchases and manage subscriptions for you all on their own. It's a complete end-to-end -end automated workflow from research to purchase. All right, so we've seen how this whole ecosystem is about to change the way we work, but it's not stopping at the office door. Let's look at how this AI is moving from our computers right into the heart of our homes. Yeah, we're talking about the living room. So check this out. This is the kind of thing you can now just say to your TV, because with Gemini being built directly into new televisions, it's no longer about barking simple commands. We're talking about nuanced contextual understanding. It's not just a smart TV anymore. It's becoming an intelligent partner. And the stuff it can do is, well, it's pretty amazing. It can actually be the peacemaker for movie night, finding something you and your partner will both actually like. It can give you a full recap of a show you dropped off a year ago. It can even become a homework helper, you know, explaining volcanoes to your kid, or a personal teacher showing you how to play guitar. And with presence sensing, it even knows when you walk in the room. Your TV isn't just a passive screen anymore. It's turning into an active, intelligent hub for your entire home. But this is where we have to pause, because this brings us to a really critical point. When the main device in your living room is always on, always listening, always sensing, think about what that means. It knows what you watch, it knows who you're with, it knows what you're talking about. 
this just throws the door wide open on some serious privacy questions. How comfortable are you with that trade-off between all this amazing convenience and your own personal data? Okay, so that level of intelligence in our homes is one thing. That's a huge shift. But what happens when you take that same kind of AI-driven power and you don't point it at movie recommendations, you point it at the fundamental laws of physics? Well, we're about to take a giant leap from the practical to the truly profound. Because this revolution isn't just creating new tools anymore, it's creating new physics. So scientists at Google used their quantum chip, it's called Willow, to literally create a brand new state of matter. The easiest way to think about it is like this. You know how ice or water are stable? They just sit there. Well, this new stuff isn't like that at all. It only exists while the quantum computer is actively manipulating it, constantly shaking it up. Kind of like a spinning top that falls over the second it stops spinning. According to the physics we all learned in school, this state of matter just, it shouldn't be able to exist. And if you're wondering how this is even possible, just look at the raw power we are dealing with here. Back in 2023, this same chip did a calculation in less than five minutes. That same calculation would take the world's fastest supercomputer billions of years. Billions, with a B. That level of power is just, it's operating on a whole different set of rules than our normal computers, and it's opening up doors to scientific discoveries we couldn't have even dreamed of before. And make no mistake, Google is not the only player in this game. Researchers in China just announced something called Spiking Brain 1.0, they're claiming it's 100 times faster than current models like ChatGPT because it mimics the way the human brain works. Now, if those claims are true, that is a massive strategic leap forward. It just goes to show you, this is a global race, and the pace is absolutely relentless. So with technology this powerful popping up this fast, the conversation naturally has to change. It's not just about what can it do anymore. It's about how do we as a society manage this? How do we govern it? And believe me, some of the answers people are coming up with are just as radical as the tech itself. Check this out. In a move that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie, the country of Albania has appointed an AI chatbot named Della as a government minister. For real. Its entire job is to go through government contracts and sniff out corruption, which has been a huge problem there for decades. It's a fascinating experiment, right? When the human systems keep failing, maybe an AI that can't be bribed is the answer? Meanwhile, here in the U.S., the government is taking a more, let's say, regulatory approach. There are new federal rules now that say major AI models have to go through safety testing before they're released to the public. And California is taking it a step further. They've passed a law that mandates a built-in kill switch for these powerful AI systems, just to make sure that a human can always, always pull the plug. Okay, so let's take a breath. We've seen AI solve impossible problems, create amazing content out of thin air, move into our living rooms, and even get a job in a government cabinet. So what's the big picture here? What is this new AI reality we're all stepping into? All right, so I think the key takeaways are pretty clear. First, integration. AI isn't a separate app anymore. It's a layer on top of everything. Second, acceleration. The pace of change is just insane. We're talking about leaps in weeks that used to take years. Third, accessibility. All this incredible power is rapidly becoming available to everyone, a lot of times for free. And finally, that means adaptation. We, all of us, have to start grappling with these huge questions about privacy, about control, and about how we're going to live with this stuff. And that leaves us with one last really crucial thought to chew on. We are building a world where AI is becoming the invisible engine that drives, well, everything. Our search results, our economy, our scientific breakthroughs. And so the big question we all have to ask ourselves now is, are we ready to hand over the keys?